Oh, Mary Elizabeth, look all those glasses behind your head there. You pin paint all these. <laughs> and more importantly, man, you got out of this in the box job you had as a graphic designer, big corporation, hated it, you were telling me, right? And finally figured out that's how to put some of your handwork on the internet. Within a year or so, people buying this stuff and making enough money to quit that jail job. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Did they teach you how to do that in school or not? Oh, no, no. I I, I uh, did not learn. I wish I had taken any sort of business class whatsoever yeah. in school. Uh, if I could have gone back, I would have. I would have done really? that. But I've been foraging my way through one day at a time. <laughs> well, that's the same way. I guess art the same way. You're you're foraging through that and dreaming up stuff. And and to me, like Etsy, they they take a lot of the normal grunge work out. I mean, they, you know, they're processing the orders and the collecting the money and all that kind of stuff. That you don't have to be an accountant to do most of that. They make it easy, and you don't have to have a brick and mortar shop to pay rent on or right. the cash <laughs> register. I wake up and I just check my night sales. Ooh, people overnight when you're sleeping, it's like the the the, the good fairy for the tooth fairy throwing money at you underneath your pillow while, while you're going to sleep. Yeah, it's kind of addictive. I'm addicted to the little. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. I'm the same kind of thing because it's not that you know you want a bigger castle or anything. It's just. It, it, it's, God, you, the nicest thing in the world is say people say they appreciate your work. I mean, in big organizations, you don't get that. Maybe once a year if you're lucky. Yeah, you'll get a peer review or something. Exactly. You don't know what you're doing, how good it is. I mean, and people throwing money at you, man, man, that's just like getting kisses or hugs or every minute of the day. I get cyber hugs from my customers. Right, so, <laughs> yeah. And what could be better in life than that? And that's why, right. so you just take a little risk. If nothing, you go back and get another lousy job if it doesn't work, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> and, and But your stuff is just wonderful, beautiful a handwork on glasses and you say you found this like do working on a archaeological dig somewhere in the middle east or no it was in sicily right yeah a little bit better atmosphere for uh the ambiance i see right <laughs> yeah, uh, i had a professor um from college take me to sicily to do to explore cave paintings and ah. um pottery shards that are you know four six thousand years old wow and it was a real eye, an eye opener because I uh, was just doing oil paintings on canvas. I see. And, and I thought, well, why not expand my medium to functional art? Uh -huh. You know, the plates and glassware, and people can use them and enjoy them instead of just look at them on their walls. And I tell you what, they started selling, whereas the paintings yeah. were just That's pretty hard. sad. No, you're right. I mean, why? And it's a functionality. You, you're, you're, and what I see, I mean, you, you, these beautiful objects. And, and what you say in, in your literature is that you're giving something, somebody beautiful to look at while they're eating, you know, instead of just this mass merchandise plate, you know, that, that you're getting something that somebody put their heart and soul into that one product, you, your heart and soul, yeah, going into this. And what, what could be more comforting, you know, in someone's life than to be that close to someone's, the best thing they have from your inside, which is your artwork, huh? Yeah, it, it is a very rewarding uh, thing for me to get to do for people. And uh, not just for special meals, but for weddings. I do a lot of ah, toast. I see. Rides, personalize it with their name and their wedding date. And so they have a memento to remember. Their I see. Day. Oh. It, it helps to create memories. Yes. You know, something more special. But you're, I mean, the elegance. I've seen these glasses, you know, Jerry and John's wedding or something like that. You know, I mean, your stuff is... is... <laughs> <laughs> well, spend money on that. I mean, spend it on your honeymoon. Right, exactly. It's like matchbook covers or something. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you're it yeah. truly uh, keepsake pieces. Yeah, they're they're all works of art. And then you say you also do huge platters that people could put on the wall if they want. They're so, but they're really serving platters that you really pour your heart into these because this is like your substitute for those oil paintings you used to do. Huh? Yeah, my limited edition piece. Ah. So they're a one of a kind painting, and mm -hmm. once it's gone, that's it. Yeah. And they take <laughs> quite a while to make, but I'll do teapots and platters and pitchers 
and anything beautiful but functional that I can create something special on. Well, that's what I think art should be used at. And, you know, because how many of us could afford, you know, to keep artists, you know, a living, you know, by just being hanging on the wall? We don't have that, but functional items that are also pieces of art. And that's what I, I like about our economy now. We seem to be heading that way because we have things like Etsy and a Amazon Handmade and things like that to bu buy special things from people. Yeah, artists this... are much more approachable now. Yeah. Well, they can make a living out of it now, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's what's neat. I mean, to me, the internet is creating all this for us, you know, and bringing you to us that we would never have before. You would have to sell these ideas to some big plate manufacturer and make five million of them. Often, and, yeah, you know, you don't want to have to do that. Exactly. But that, the problem is, five million people don't like this, but a couple hundred do, and that's enough for you. <laughs> I actually have to curb sales uh, during certain seasons. <laughs> what a nice problem to have, yeah. yeah. But that's why when we were so much in mass merchandising, it was hard. We all bought the same crap because that's all there was, you know. These big companies want to make a billion of them. Send it to China, have it made a billion, and everybody have it. And uh, it wasn't fun for us or the artists. And so that's one artist, you know, making a living. <laughs> Yeah, not very fulfilled living just because it's they don't even get to create the piece, you know? They're, All just, right. <laughs> they're just putting their thumbprint on it and then right. someone else make it. Ah, ah, that's wonderful. It's nice to see art expanding like this in all of our lives and you're doing it and these platforms are bringing it to us and they're making it easier for artists like you to figure out the, I guess, the business side of it, you know? Uh, the business side's hard, especially... Oh, God, yeah. Well, for me, the art side would be hard, too. <laughs> Thank goodness there's a mix of people in the Exactly, world. right. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned a, a, a few years ago I should just hire an accountant. And, and ah, well, that's that. good. Now you're really confused. All right. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I mean, there's plenty of help out there, and, and it's reasonable nowadays, and, that, and and that's what's cool, I think, too in our society so your stuff somebody and actually your youtube videos you, like, you can learn how to paint on glasses from your youtube how-to videos so that's awfully nice to know too uh mary elizabeth arts a-r-t-s dot com you're on etsy are you on amazon handmade too yes, i am just yeah, started on there and that's been a fun new ride i'm now doing amazon fulfillment what is that yeah so most people shop primes where you get free shipping with yeah. amazon uh, so now I can ship some of my pieces to Amazon in bulk, and then when an order comes in, they'll ship it off to the customer. Oh. And I don't have to do the shipping. You don't have to wake up in the morning, make sure that box gets out, huh? Exactly. So I, <laughs> I think like a little squirrel tucking nuts away. <laughs> See, there's somebody always in the process to make your life easier. You just investigate it enough. We always think there's only one option. No, there's hundreds of options in life. Just got to keep digging digging for them but they don't they don't come up to the top of google because the good ones that you don't have to pay a lot for are on the bottom of google so you have to figure them out <laughs> that's true yeah that's true <laughs> well thank you mary so nice to meet you and and uh as we're talking now i think you're on your way to the hospital with your second child soon <laughs> nine months pregnant ready to go <laughs> yeah so you're like nine months already Yes, I am. Wow. Okay, we better hang up so you get it on your way. Thank you, Mary. Take care. <laughs> Safe travel to the hospital.